Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a really interesting new information exploration tool that we developed in Infranodus that allows you to use a combination of network science, data visualization, and AI-based text generation tools to study an existing discourse and to come up with new ideas. So that in the end, you have something like this, which is a graph of an existing discourse that shows you what are the main topics inside, how they're connected, and that gives you this structural insight so that you can then later use the AI to find the gaps in the discourse and generate some interesting facts or research questions that would bridge those gaps and thus enhance the existing discourse. I'm going to show you how it works using an example. So here I will open a new graph in Infranodus. And as you can see here, when you open an empty page, it offers you three options. You can analyze an existing text, so if you have a file or your own text, you can use that. Develop an idea, so if you have an abstract or some idea that you want to develop, you can use this. Or you can explore an existing topic. So here I will start with the topic. And here I'm going to type in, let's say, machine learning. And you have two ways of exploring it. You can use the live AI ideator, or you can import Google search results and study what exists out there. I will show you how the live AI ideator works because then you can proceed step by step. So I choose that, machine learning, click proceed, and then it shows me this phrase that I added, machine learning, and then it proposes me to select the nodes and to generate some interesting research facts in relation to that. So here I have an option to generate questions, facts, ideas, or use Google. I will use facts for now, generate some interesting facts on machine learning, uh, here it says that some believe that humans will eventually become obsolete as learning machines become more and more advanced. So it goes into a philosophical direction. I can save this into the graph because at this point I'm just going to be saving ideas. Here uh, it says about how the term machine learning was first used. So a little bit of history. I'm going to also add this into the graph. So you can see it's highlighted here when it's added. So I can see how it fits into the existing discourse. And here it's a general definition of what machine learning is, which I'm also going to add. I can, of course, also use Google. So if I click here, it's just going to get some interesting search results from Google on that topic, which I can also save into the graph. More uh, Google search results, add some more stuff in. So basically what I'm doing here is that I'm gradually constructing this discourse in order to see the lexical field around these concepts that I was interested in at the beginning. So I already see that it's a lot about computers, learning, data, methods. And here I have the analytics panel that actually shows me what are the main topical groups based on text network analysis. You can see in other videos how that works. And basically allows me to quickly detect uh, what this topic is about, what is the context around this subject. Now, once I have this structure visualized, I can start finding the gaps within, so the topics that could be connected a little bit better. Here, it detected a structural gap uh, between method and data pattern. So it's basically two clusters of words that could be connected better. And if I manage to generate an interesting research question that would bridge them together, I would be able to enhance the existing discourse with uh, some interesting new ideas. So I'm going to do that. And I can either use uh, this helper here or just click generate question here. It already selected this gap. I'm just going to click generate a research question here. So it takes a bit of time. It's using GPT-3 AI to generate a research question. What's the best method for field researchers to building understanding of the machine learning devoted to inquiry? Let's add a, another one. How can machine learning be used to improve our understanding of data patterns in order to make better predictions? So this is an interesting question. I'm going to add it into the graph. And as you can see, when I add it, it actually links these two groups of concepts together. I can generate more questions. Or I can also generate some facts that bridge those two groups of topics together. So then it's going to be not so much of questions, but somehow already some statements that uh, the system generates. And the big difference here from the other AI-based text generation tools is that we're really looking into the structure of the discourse that we're creating and we're focusing on the gaps. Uh, and what we generate will bridge those gaps. I don't know if uh, most of the 
AI-based text generation tools work like that? I think not. So this is the advantage that you get using this tool, that you get this live feedback on the structure of the discourse you're building, and you can be very precise as to uh, what will be the pieces of context uh, content that are generated using the AI in this case. So here it's a fact about machine learning. I'm going to add it into the graph, generate another fact, maybe here, predictive models and data in order to improve decision making. Okay, so here it's proposing me to think of some practical applications. I'm going to add this into the graph and gradually you know, I build uh, my lexical field around uh, these groups of concepts and I have a very nice representation of what are the main concepts and the uh, topics that exist on the topic of machine learning. And what's great is that later I can go here into the filter and I can actually choose to see only the ideas that I generated myself. So I only wrote so far machine learning. Uh, these are the stuff that were generated using GPT-3 AI, and these are Google search results. So I can always filter and see how those are different. If I have some more ideas, so for example, I can add my own ideas. I can write that machine learning can be used to detect patterns in data. So I'm kind of using the information I already obtained to, you know, start writing my own stuff. Here I wrote this in here. I'm going to choose a different tag. I'm going to tag my own idea with the tag ideas, add this into the graph. It's added here. And when I filter, I can see my ideas separately from the rest. And what's also great, and uh, this is a really useful feature, is that later, once I added a few ideas, I can also see how they're different from what already exists out there. So I can click this button here that shows me the differences between the two different categories. And then I choose, okay, show me how ideas are different from GPT-3. And here it shows me what exists in my ideas that doesn't exist in the content that was generated uh, in GPT-3. And for example, here I see that I didn't generate anything on detection yet. So then I can use uh, this, maybe detect machine learning, select those nodes, then go into the inside panel, these nodes are selected, and then I generate a new fact based on this selection. And then it's it's going to add something, how machine learning can be used to diagnose cancer, predict earthquakes, and even find new planets. So this is interesting. This shows me how it can be used for detecting stuff. It can generate more facts. Uh, also data imbalance for generalization. So I add this in. And now I have much more information on the topic that I wanted to explore. So as you can see, it can be pretty useful to develop an existing discourse to somehow first make this general visualization of the stuff that exists out there and to then generate uh, another discourse on top of that that would fit into it nicely and that would enhance it by bridging the gaps that you identify using this visual data analysis. Another thing that you can do with the graph is that once you are clear on all the main concepts you can delete them from the graph, so I select the machine learning data. I know that these are important concepts. I delete them and then I see what's hiding underneath. So for example, here it's a lot about pattern prediction that I see now. And I can select those nodes uh, and also learning for instance, go to insight panel and generate new facts that would just focus on these uh, concepts that were hiding underneath the main ones. And this is super interesting because then it allows me to focus on the stuff that are not so evident. And this is again what's missing from most AI text generation tools here. I can actually use the graph in this sort of uh, like iterative manner where I'm deleting the nodes uh, that I already have some content about. And then I jump into the clusters of ideas that are underdeveloped and I use uh, the AI to develop them further. So here I will add this new fact into the graph. So you can see it links them together in a new way. Generate another fact and also talk about how humans are very good at predicting patterns. So as you can see I'm expanding this discourse further and I have a direct visual feedback on how I'm actually you know using uh, the concepts and 
developing the discourse in a new way. Then I can bring back those concepts that I deleted from the graph and I see the full picture again. One last thing that I wanted to show you is that you can actually also import the existing discourse directly. So if you don't want to go step by step, you can click explore a topic and here I could use machine learning, but instead of using the live AI ideator, I can also just import the top Google search results for this topic to have a really quick visualization of the concepts that exist on that subject. And for example, here I see that machine learning is closely related to AI. So I can also click artificial intelligence branch, actually, it's like it's a branch of uh, artificial intelligence. And then let's say I want to develop uh, a little bit further into that direction. So I'm going to click uh, Google, add more results on this particular subject and on the different branches that exist. And as you can see, I'm building now uh, this discourse in the direction of artificial intelligence. So you could also use this approach. Instead of using the AI step-by-step, -step, you could just get the results from Google, visualize something, then you click back, and then you, know, you can either select those stuff and use the AI again to generate some interesting facts on the topic or get more Google search results on that query. So this is another way that you could use this approach, basically. Here I'm going to save this into the graph again. And once I've done that, I have a filter here. My own idea is Google results, GPT-3. So I can compare the stuff that were generated using the AI to the Google search results and even see again if there are any differences between GPT-3 and Google search results. So here it shows me there are two nodes. Uh -huh. Samuel Arthur. So this is interesting. Who is this person? I can select these nodes. And here I see in which context uh, this particular topic was used. So Samuel Arthur. And here it's talking about the definition of machine learning that he gave in 1955. I can also generate more facts on this person and sort of continue building the discourse in this direction. And uh, he, here it says that he was the author of the books on computer and programming and so on. So as you can see, this is how it could be used. Try it out on infranodus.com on, on a topic that is not too general and not too specific and play around with all these uh, different features. Let me know if you need any help or if you have any questions, I will leave a link to our support portal in the description of, to this video. Also, if you can like and share this video, this is great because then people who are interested in this topic, they will also see this on YouTube. And I hope you enjoy using this tool and approach and I will be recording more videos later on how you can use this new functionality to create your own texts and to explore an already existing discourse. Thank you.